Hey guys, so from the day now that I got this bureau, I have been planning to put things into it and to share with you me organising it. I've been holding off doing that and part of the reason is because I'd seen a little opportunity to slightly reduce some of my stuff before I was putting into it and I thought if we can do that, better to do that and fit it in with the reduced amount than trying to fit stuff into it if I know it might be going later. Slightly ironic that I'm saying that and this stuff beside it is all the stuff that was in the haul video I filmed recently which was all about stuff I have brought into my life but let's just not focus on that, that will obviously it needs to go away. The bureau is still, it's not really in use yet but I've put a few bits and pieces in it and this is mainly what we are going to go through today are my liquid lipsticks because I think there's an opportunity to reduce a little bit so let's get into it. So what prompted this declutter is that Bourgeois had left the UK and they've now come back. Now despite the fact that I know how long it takes to use up a product, when they left the UK I decided to start like rationing my use of one of my favourite products from them which is this. Rouge Edition Velvet, which is the Bourgeois Liquid Lipstick, and this is in the shade Beau Brun. Now, I love this so much, I have a second one here. And I took this one out first and put it on my lips, and it had gone off. So I had rationed it so much and hadn't used it, I'd lost the ability to use it. And I realised if that was the case with this one, then it must be the case with some of the other ones. All my liquid lipsticks used to live in here. I have realised, I think this has been part of my problem, is using like zip up makeup bags as storage because things just get zipped into them and I kind of forget what they are. I'm a very visual person. So I decided I wanted to change my liquid lipstick storage to something like this. So this is um, a cult beauty box and if this is the lid, that's the box. Obviously if I lay them there, you can't see everything but you see them a lot more than you see them if they're zipped away. So what I have been doing after realising that one was off is I have been taking my liquid lipsticks one at a time out of here, wearing them and once I've worn them, putting them into this box or this box and as you might be able to guess this is the box where the ones that have gone off have been put so straight away before we even get into decluttering them I've got one two three four five that have either gone off or just not performed quite as well so that's Bourgeois Beau Brun this is actually from Topshop yeah which has shut down and is no longer a thing uh, this Ellie Splash one uh, an ABH, this is the shade Ashton, I had this on in my what I learned from losing my luggage video and that was how I learned this had definitely gone off, it made my lips feel horrible. And then this one is a Kat Von D one, the name has come off of it, but I was wearing this in my 13 by Halloween, the second update I think it was, when I had the really dark lip, it was this one and it was a bit flaky and whatever, so uh, yeah. Those five have gone off, so they are easy declutters. That leaves us with this box of liquid lipsticks to go through, so let's count these and see how many we are starting with. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 37, 38. So 38 here plus 5, so we're starting with what, 43? So yeah, let's see what we can knock out and get my liquid lipstick collection down to. I have sorted these into brands, so I thought what I'd do is swatch what I own from different brands first, do it by brand, then see what I'm left with and then swatch all of that together and see if there's any colour dupes that I can then knock out and do it that way. So let's start with the KVD Beauty, or I think these are all actually from way back when it was Kat Von D. Bought some of these in America before Kat Von D was ever here. As I said, there's one in there um, that had gone off. So none of these seem to have actually gone off, but they're all very, very old because it was before everyone had to boycott Kat Von D that I bought any of these. It was before she'd come to the UK. It was before she had left the brand. So that's how old these are. The plan is to only keep the shades that are exceptional from this collection. First, we've got Witches, which is the black one, then Wolf, which I'll be honest, I bought purely for the name because it's spelt Wolf as in Virginia Wolf. I don't think I've ever actually worn this, I'll be totally honest, but I did love the name. Next up is Dagger. This one is called Exorcism. Next to Exorcism, we'll put Vampira. This was one of my absolute original favourites from the brand. We'll do Plath, which another one that the name obviously very much appealed to me, but I do also love this shade. Last but not least, Project Chimps. 
So I have let these dry and I've just switched the camera around so that the light is coming really evenly onto my arm. So I feel like my instinct, and please excuse my nails they are desperately needing done, is to keep witches just because I think it's quite useful to have a black for when the need arises. That's the only one I've got in my collection. And then I really like these three, so Vampira, Plath and Project Chimps. I think I'm going to keep those three, keep this one and get rid of those three in the middle. So that's Wolf, Dagger and Exorcism. So I think next to the Kat Von D ones we'll do the Too Faced swatches. First up I'll do this shade here. This is one of the Melted um, lipsticks. So the other ones are all the Melted Matte, but this is the Melted Chocolate. I would never have bought this. I think this came in one of the like Too Faced Christmas sets or something that you got it with the palette. So that is Melted Chocolate. Then next to that I'm going to put Too Faced Gingerbread Man. Now I'm, so I'm only going to swatch that once, but I do have two of this one, um, one that I bought as a standalone and one that was in the next year's Christmas palette set, so, but they're both the same colour so I'll only do one swatch obviously. One of my absolute favourite colours so I know straight away that Gingerbread Man is going nowhere, absolutely adore it. Next to Gingerbread Man I'll do Gingerbread Girl. Last but certainly not least I will do Lady Balls. I think I'm going to get rid of this one, sorry horrendous looking nail. Uh, it broke in case you can't tell. I'm going to get rid of this one more because I don't like the smell of this melted chocolate formula more than anything else. Like the colour is absolutely fine. I'm sure I could get a lot of use out of it. But yeah, I'm going to get rid of that one. Gingerbread Man, I'm definitely keeping one of my absolute favourite shades. Gingerbread Girl, I'm going to get rid of. I think it's a bit more cool toned, maybe not quite as flattering on me. And then I'm definitely keeping Lady Balls. That is one of my absolute favourite shades. I am slightly running out of arm but I think we'll just we'll squeeze the two Colourpop ones that I own in there before I go wipe off and start again. And the first one is Love Bug and then the second is Notion. Here we are with them dried down so that is Colourpop, Love Bug and Notion. Do you know I think I'm actually going to get rid of both of these. I did used to really really love Love Bug but I think kind of similar to why I said I would pick Gingerbread Man over Gingerbread Girl. I like these slightly warmer shades better so I think I would always reach for that over that. I'm quite torn actually because that, no I'll keep Notion actually. I'm going to, because I'll get rid of this one which is kind of similar so at, at round one, sorry, at round one I'm going to keep Notion but get rid of Love Bug. Next up I will do my Anastasia Beverly Hills liquid lipsticks. These were some of my favourites for a long long time. I had a really massive collection and I have whittled them down so these are ones that have lasted through every other declutter. We'll see if there's any going to go here but I'm not convinced there will be. Start with Heathers. Next to that I'll put Trust Issues. After that we'll do Catherine. I know neither of these last two are going. They're some of my absolute favourites. So Seraphine and American Doll. Okay so I've given these a full five minutes and like the edges of uh, Heather's is still not completely dried down but it's much better idea of the colour. As I said I really really like these so I'm only going to get rid of one. I'm going to get rid of Trust Issues and again it's just it's a bit cooler toned and I've just not been favouring that. I'm not somebody who makes snap decisions so this isn't like I've not been favouring that over the last few months. Like I think since I, so I used to be blonde and I think when I had the blonde hair the cooler tones eh, merged a bit better but I've been back to ginger for several years now and so it's not a snap decision or anything that I'm saying I just in the last few months have gone off it I just think this kind of shade maybe doesn't suit me quite as well now because I think with my hair and my eyes although my skin tone is sort of neutral to slightly cool the rest of my colouring is quite warm so I'm going to get rid of that one and keep the other four. Next up I'll go through the bourgeois ones. Beau Brun, one of my favourites so much so that I had bought a backup of it when I heard Bourgeois was leaving the UK. Then next to that I'll do Nudist. Then Plum Plum Girl. And last but not least Peach Club. This was actually in my first ever project pan and uh, it's still going. So that is Bob Run, Nudist, Plum Plum Girl and Peach Club from Bourgeois. I'm going to be honest at this point I really like all four of these still. Like because this is like, although it's a plummy shade, it's much sort of richer than Trust Issues was. So 
I think I'm going to keep those four for now. So those four are getting through round one. The last formula that I have multiples of, um, these are actually from Colourpop, so I should have maybe done them earlier with the other two Colourpop ones, but they're a slightly different liquid lipstick formula. So these are the Lux liquid lipsticks, and these are all from the Disney Midnight Masquerade collection. In terms of my sort of collector tendencies, I don't see me getting rid of any of these. They came in like lovely boxes. I've still got all the boxes and it was like character boxes and the, the powder and the corresponding liquid lipstick sit in them. So um, I don't think I'm emotionally ready to part with any of these, even if the colours uh, weren't very up my street, but I'll swatch them all so that you guys can see them. First of all, we'll do Prince Naveen, which is probably my favourite of them in terms of actually wearing. Although in full disclosure, the ones that I... I think I actually asked for these for Christmas, um, the year that they came out, I very much was informed by the, the characters and the films they were from. Uh, the next one is Wonder Boy, Hercules, one of my favourite films and not one you get much merchandise for, so it was nice to see it included in this collaboration. Next up we've got Beast. Next to Beast we'll put Prince Charming. This is probably my least favourite in terms of the colours, but it's still still nice. I've still worn it, still like it. So Prince Charming. Last but not least, Phoebus from Hunchback of Notre Dame, which is basically my favourite Disney film. I love Hunchback of Notre Dame and Beauty and the Beast. But there's always Beauty and the Beast merchandise. There's very rarely a mention of Hunchback of Notre Dame. Again, very nice to see it in this collab. So let's go over and look at these in the light. These don't kind of dry down the same as the other ones. These are those Colourpop ones there. So Prince Naveen, eh, Wonder Boy, Beast, Prince Charming and Phoebus. And I think I'm going to keep all of them. Yeah, I, I say I think. Like I kind of knew I wanted to keep all of them anyway. But there's not even one that the colour is you know, jumping out at me to say I wouldn't use it. I think I would use all of them. I have used all of them. Um, so they're all going to stay for now. That brings us down to all of the ones that, only one that I own from that brand. So first of all, I've got this little Chanel mini. It's number 80, Timeless. Next to that, I will swatch this Lancome one, number 493. Like I was saying with the Colourpop ones, I am very much somebody who's influenced by names, by marketing, and this is Huda Beauty Gossip Girl, which I 100% bought for the name because Blair Waldorf forever, quite frankly. Next to that, I'll swatch this little Tarte mini. All the writing's kind of rubbed off it and I don't have a sticker, but it was the Sephora birthday gift. Um, a few years ago now. Again, this has been in one of my project pans and it will not die. Liquid lipsticks just seem to go on and on and on forever. But yeah, I think this might have been called birthday suit, but don't hold me to that. Next to that, I will put Sentimental from The Bam. Next to that, I'm going to put Illamasqua Jus. I've got this metallic Smashbox one. It doesn't have a name on it, but a red metallic liquid lipstick from Smashbox. This was one of the Sephora Point Perks one of the times I was in New York. I think I thought it would be like really cool for Christmas. The last time I was in America was 2019, thanks to COVID. So that sums up the age of that. Although, as regular viewers will know, I have been on a beauty no buy since 2018, so none of this is very new. But next up, we've got this one from the brand Mina, and it is the shade 500. Next to that, I'm going to put NARS Star Woman, which again, I was very much influenced by the name of, although the colour is beautiful. Uh, I wore this when I went to see the new... Uh, light, well it's not that new anymore but when I went to see the Lightyear film because they used Starman in the in the trailer and then last but certainly not least one of my favourites definitely going nowhere is MAC Sorry Not Sorry and I bought this because if you know the musical Six um, about the Six Wives of Henry VIII Anne Boleyn's song is uh, Sorry Not Sorry about what I said so there we go. Okay, so I have let these ones dry. I'm going to get rid of this one, Sentimental, from The Balm. Um, the reason for that, and I don't think I've really said in this video, is that I used to really love liquid lipsticks. 
but I am kind of back to preferring bullet formulas. I kind of swatched this and my immediate thought was if I was going to wear a pink like that I would wear Marc Jacobs Charlotte which is what I've swatched here so that is a bullet lipstick and I would I would always reach for that over this so I'm going to get rid of this one. I'm going to get rid of this Smashbox metallic one. I don't think I've ever actually worn it and I would never have bought it. I just got it because it was a Sephora point perk. So yeah, getting rid of that one, that one. And then I think I'm also going to get rid of this one from Mina. It's nice but I just don't think it's quite as nice as NARS Star Woman. So I think if it was between the two, I would reach for that one over this one. And I feel like as well, even if I put this one through this round, it would get knocked out by ABH American Dolls. So going to just put that one out now because I don't think it would make it through the next round. I'm swithering on this one. I really like the colour but I think although it's not gone off I think the formula is starting to turn a little bit. I'm going to keep it at the moment but then I'm going to compare it in against similar colours in round two and I think it could be knocked out if I've got another one that sort of fits the bill better. So yeah at the moment this one's going, this one's going and this one's going and the rest are through to the next round. So this is everything that has been knocked out so far. So we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. 15 are going out of 43 I think was the original number wasn't it? So, so far quite pleased with that. When I declutter other things I've got a makeup sanitising spray or like pencils you can sharpen them or like a bullet lipstick you could cut the top off of them. I am just going to be binning these. I kind of feel like I could take the doe foot out and spray it with the sanitising spray but I've already used it and put it back in several times so I'm just, I'm not comfortable passing liquid lipsticks on basically. So I'm not, I'm not hugely motivated to be really really ruthless with this because it's not that I think I'm holding on to this and somebody else could be using it or getting joy from it. Anything that is knocked out from this declutter is just going to go in the bin. So at the end of round one the keeping box has 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28 liquid lipsticks in it and I'm going to try and group them by colour now. So my reds are by far the biggest category, then I've got my plums here, nudes and pinks, my orangey ginger red shades and then I've just put the black back in the box because it's it's on its own so we're just gonna, that one's gonna stay. Yeah I think I will start with the nudes and pinks because they're probably easiest to get off my arm. So we'll go tart, which is I think the only kind of proper like beige nude, Colourpop Beast. Bourgeois Beau Brun, Bourgeois Nudist, Anastasia Beverly Hills Catherine, Huda Beauty Gossip Girl, and last in this lineup, Colourpop Prince Charming. Nudes and pinks in a better light, and do you know, I think I'm actually just going to keep them all. Bourgeois Nudist and Huda Gossip Girl are quite similar, but not exactly the same. As I said, any that I get rid of will just be going in the bin so it's not that anyone else could get the use of them. And actually, yeah, I like all of them so I'm just going to keep all of these. Next up we will go through the plums. So Bourgeois Plum Plum Girl. Camera battery is flashing at me, that's very helpful. Chanel Timeless. Longcomb 493. Colourpop Phoebus. And then Colourpop Notion. So this is my arm. Um, I've actually just swatched Wonder Boy from Colourpop at the, the end here. It's a kind of mauve nude. It's, it's, um, it should have been in one of these two categories. I put it in next to reds for some reason when I was laying them out, but it's definitely not red. Uh, Wonder Boy from Colourpop. Colourpop Notion. That one is Colourpop Phoebus. Longcomb 493. Chanel Timeless. And Bourgeois Plum Plum Girl. So I'm keeping... Wonder Boy. I'm going to keep Chanel Timeless. I do really like that Notion one so I think I'm going to keep that. But then of these three I think they're all quite similar. They're not identical but they are quite similar. So that is Bourgeois, Plum Plum Girl, Long Home 493 and Colourpop Phoebus. And I think I'm just going to keep the Colourpop one because it's from that Disney collection and get rid of 
those two. On to the reds, I've tried to sort of arrange these from brightest reds through to the sort of deepest, darkest brownie reds. First up is ABH American Doll. Next to that I'll put Too Faced Lady Balls. Back to ABH and Seraphine. Then we have NARS Star Woman. After that it's Kat Von D Project Chimps. Then I've got ABH Heathers. That's actually probably should be right at the end. That's definitely darker than the next one which is Kat Von D Plath. After that it is Colourpop Prince Naveen. Then Kat Von D Vampira or Vampira. And then Illamasca Zhu. It's in like a red wine Zhu. So I will let them dry and then we'll look at them in the light. Okay, so here we are with the reds. I definitely want to keep these three. So that's ABH American Doll, Two Faced Lady Balls, ABH Sarafine. I'm going to get rid of this one. Slight surprise, so that's NARS Star Woman. I just think I would always reach for one of those three over that. Really, really like this one. Cap on D Project Chimp, so I'm going to keep that. And... Do you know, in a surprise, I'm not sure that I'm that keen on either of those two now that I see them again. ABH Heathers and Kat Von D Plath. So I always really thought I really liked Plath and now I'm looking at it, I'm like, mm, just not as keen. So I'm going to get rid of those two. Keeping this one, which is the Colourpop Prince Naveen. And then, do you know, I think I'm going to get rid of these two as well. So that's Kat Von D Vampira. I'm swatching it now and it's a bit streaky and that's kind of what I felt the one that I wore in the 13 by Halloween Project Pan update video was. It was sort of really streaky on the lips. That one I didn't notice as much when I wore it, but I think it's probably going to go that way. I think that's maybe how they go when they're kind of going off. So I'm going to get rid of that one. And then this one is the El Masca Jou, and I really, really like the colour, but it just doesn't seem to dry down. And I feel like that is the attraction of a liquid lipstick, is that it dries down and stays in place. Um, and I feel like, so I actually moved my arm and managed to smudge that onto my t-shirt while I was waiting on them drying down. So yeah, I'm going to get rid of that one as well. So some surprises there. So last up, we've got the Oranges Bourgeois Peach Club. Then next to that, I'll put MAC Sorry Not Sorry. And then the last two are both Too Faced Gingerbread Man. So I'll just do one swatch. So here are those swatches in the light. I actually, I didn't think I'd be decluttering any of these, but I think I'm actually going to get rid of this one. So this is the Bourgeois Peach Club. I actually still quite like the colour and I quite like the way it looks on my lips. But when I first got this, it was a really like thick, opaque, quite kind of dry formula. It had an almost sort of fluorescent quality to it, the original colour. Although this doesn't seem to dry my lips out or irritate them or anything, it's definitely not the colour it used to be. So I think actually on a bit of reflection, as much as I still like the colour, that's probably a sign I shouldn't still have this. So I'm going to get rid of that one, but I'm definitely keeping these two. So this is the going box and this is the staying box. So let's count how many I'm keeping is one, two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen twenty a nice even twenty is there any hiding on no twenty exactly well that's exciting so there should be 23 in here then let's just count that to double check one two three four five so 20 21 22 23 yep 23 getting rid of so I am very, very pleased with that. So I'm going to put this back into the bureau drawer. So there we go. First thing in the bureau. Though obviously I might move it around once we actually put the stuff in. And I'm going to take these off my inventory and I'll report back to you how much that brings my value down by. So it turns out this little sneaky one wasn't actually on my inventory. So I don't know if I if I maybe thought I'd decluttered this before and took it off or something, but I have put the ones that I've decluttered on and so I'm only actually getting credit for reducing my inventory by a quantity of 22 rather than 23 but it's fine it's it's totes fine but the value that that is bringing it down by is $390.95 I think that's the really terrifying thing about makeup is just that little box of stuff does not look like very much but it adds up to nearly $400 that would be $400 spent on it out of pocket which obviously it was at one point before I went on my no buys and got myself into gear. So I'm glad that I did that. But I think that's how it just so easily get out of hand because it just doesn't really look like very much. It doesn't take up much space. So easy for 
a makeup collection to grow out of control without realising. We've reduced these, we've taken them off and I am very happy. In case you're interested, this is the remaining. So I have got 20 remaining worth $289.88. I have taken away more both quantity and value wise than I've kept, which I'm very happy with. So we have basically more than halved my liquid lipstick collection. So thank you very much for watching this video. I hope you've enjoyed it and I will see you in my next one. Bye.